Hi everyone, here is another resonant uh, circuit uh, under test here for your evaluation as well. And this one will replace the previous one. And I've made some changes. Instead of having the uh, LED as a load, I now have uh, two resistors here in series. So the load here is uh, 2K. These are uh, each a 1K resistor uh, rated at 1% uh, accuracy. So both uh, resistors are identical there on the uh, board. And uh, same capacitor that I'm using, which is a 0.0023 microfarad. And I've added a capacitor here in series also on the secondary coil. And that capacitor there is a 0 0.002 uh, microfarad. At this time, the circuit is in resonance, and the voltage is 6.64 volts across that load of 2000 ohms and the uh, same capacitor and bridge rectifier is used here and what I've done is I've added my amp meter which is now selected on a sine wave and it's measuring 6.5 milliamps across the um, signal generator output so there's the uh, connection there oops to the uh, that just came out there there's the connection to the uh, amp meter here and there's the return and the return is connected to the this side here of the coil and the other side of the coil with the uh, capacitor in series is connected to the ground right here but I've added a 1 ohm resistor there and I have my probe across that that's my probe number 2 which is on 1 times and that's measuring uh, across this resistor so the negative here of the probe is closest to the negative of the signal generator and the other probe, number one, is uh, as well grouped with the negative of this probe two and is uh, reading the uh, output here. Uh, so that's giving that data as well. This here is a schematic of the uh, circuit. So people have been asking to uh, get a schematic and that's uh, exactly the schematic uh, as I've uh, just described it right now. So there's the signal generator, there's the P1 is the probe across the signal generator and uh, P2 is the second probe across the 1 ohm 5% resistor. There's the capacitor in series to create the resonance of the uh, L1 coil the main coil and there's the amp meter here and there's the second coil here and which is you know merged into the center of that first coil and there's the capacitor there C2 okay to tune that as well into resonance and there's the full wave bridge rectifier here with the AC going in each side and the DC going to the capacitor which has a uh, which is R2 which is 2000 ohms at 1% accuracy and the uh, microfarad rating of that capacitor is 30,000 microfarad so hopefully that will help those who need a schematic and let's have a look at the scope shot here so this is what the waveform look like, looks like. This is the probe here on the output of the signal generator and that's the probe there uh, on the 1 ohm resistor. 
this one is set at times uh, 1 here and this is at times 10 and there's my setting here of each probe so that's at the 10 volt setting and that's at the 10 millivolt setting and there is the data here on each one and I'll give you a uh, I have it written all down as well on a sheet so this is the first test we're uh, resonating at the 10 k Hertz range 11 k Hertz actually to be more exact and um, right now the signal generator is uh, the output is at its maximum and it is on sine wave and it's still on the 10k setting and it's at 11k uh, Hertz and this is the information here that uh, we are getting so I'm going to do two tests one test is the uh, with the resonating coil attached and we're getting 6.65 volts at the 2k resistor at the load and we're using 6.5 milliamps and the probe number one uh, here at the oscilloscope and we have 24 volts peak to peak and 7.81 RMS and probe 2 which is across the 1 ohm resistor we have 20 millivolts peak to peak and 5.6 millivolts RMS so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the uh, coil only and I'm going to connect the signal generator straight to the circuit and we'll look at that. I'll just have to uh, pause the camera. to do. Okay, we're back. Uh, so all I did is I disconnected the uh, two uh, alligator clips here from the output of the secondary and connected the output here of the signal generator directly to it. So basically it's going directly to the bridge rectifier. I'm not going to do a whole other uh, circuit uh, drawing that should be easy enough to understand um, so right now the circuit is connected directly we have 6.66 volts across our 2k resistor and all what's been well all what's different here is the coils eliminated we're going directly to the signal generator and now what we're comparing is what I've done is I've adjusted I was at full max here on the output of my uh, signal generator for the previous test with the coil and now I just brought down the attenuation just a little bit so that we have the same voltage at our load right so we have an equal comparison test and that takes 7.74 about 7.75 milliamps for the uh, resistor to reach 6.66 volts and so that is here is the data well let's have a look at the scope shot here as well and uh, there it is and there is the uh, data right there have to go fast here because we don't have much time left uh, for this video and there's the written data right there so the connection directly to the uh, full wave bridge rectifier is using 7.75 milliamps so there's a difference of 1.25 milliamps more efficient on this side here and if we look at the uh, millivolts across our uh, 1 ohm resistor we're at 39 compared to 20 and 7.5 RMS compared to 5.6 so it's obvious it's taking more energy here and it's showing it here so if somebody wants to explain me how this is uh, possible 
uh, I'm uh, open. Thank you. Process.